Alrighty guys, today is May 28th, 2020, and I got myself into some calls yesterday because of that arrow there on the uh, queues, and it doesn't look so good uh, for me <laughs> this morning. We'll see, um, we'll see how it goes here. I might just ditch uh, this single call that I bought, I, and literally I bought it just because um, I did get a signal there at the very end. And um, gosh, I don't know. I'm I'm sitting here waiting. I bought the uh, 227 calls that expire in nine days. Well, eight days now. Um, and I bought them at five, or I bought it at 583. I just have the uh, finger on the trigger here, just to ditch them or ditch it. Excuse me. Not down a whole lot. About 40 bucks. Hey, first time I'm in the green here. Gosh, I was down at one point about $60, $70. This is a tough trade. I'm going to hold on to it for just a little bit more. Let's see if we can get. I should be trying to sell at around $641 uh, as I bought it at $583. let us see here. Let me find it. Oh, it's probably because I didn't close out of my platform. I don't really want to close down my platform. Let's see if change today. Here we go. Awesome. Good deal. I'm barely in the green. <laughs> At least I didn't sell down there. You know what? I am just going to go ahead and market sell here. Any lower than 620. I am just going to sell market sell. Ooh, all right, awesome. Made a little bit of money, a little over $40. Made back what I lost on Facebook. Let me show you those trades. Q's bought at 583 yesterday, right at the close, and then sold today at 624. What's up, everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. That was one of the most sloppy trades that I've ever taken, to say the absolute least. <laughs> I did make some money. I didn't lose any money. Gosh, I was down, um, I think in the video, I say 60, 70. I think I was closer to 80. I did buy on yesterday's close. In fact, I think I bought a little after the closing bell. Remember, we do have 15 minutes after the closing bell to trade uh, the uh, options market. This could very well be the last time that I traded options. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go as far as say the last time because I'm still gonna um, keep a uh, account open to trade options, but I'm trying to transition into futures trading. My TD Ameritrade account is funded. It's approved, it's ready to go. I, I moved that $1,800 that I had in that smaller account on Tastyworks and switched it over to uh, TD Ameritrade, but I also ended up uh, depositing a little bit more, bringing up my account up to $5,000, and I'll be trading with $5,000 uh, for the here and now trading futures. I've been toying around with uh, the, those uh, conditional orders um, for the last week or so, not quite a week, and I think I got it down. I've been paper trading uh, the micros, um, getting my my buy orders in, my sell orders, my stop losses, all that jazz. I think I have it all under control and ready to go. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to show everybody how to set up conditional orders. Uh, I will show you what I know uh, as of this moment, uh, which isn't a, a whole lot anyways to begin with. Thank you everybody so much for watching today's trading video. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate the love and support that everybody has given me throughout the years. I absolutely appreciate it. See you here on the very next trading video, hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.